It's Michelle Pierce here, and I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude for the warm welcome I've received as the new CEO of ACL. I'm truly honored to serve you and stand alongside you in our shared mission to defend truth, life, and religious freedom. After being away from Australia for five years, I was shocked upon my return to hear about and see how far we as a nation have gone in embracing deception. When I was state director of ACL years ago, we expected and warned the nation that redefining marriage would redefine gender, and this would lead to the deterioration of our society. And now we are living in that consequence. We can be encouraged though, that it's in this kind of climate where evil is on display that reasonably thinking people who may not even be believers begin to question the direction that society is heading in and begin to seek truth. And we at the Australian Christian Lobby are positioned to make that truth public. Each one of you are part of this vibrant and passionate community that understands the importance of speaking this truth and particularly speaking up for those who cannot speak for themselves. As Proverbs 31.8 reminds us, we have a calling to be advocates for the vulnerable and to be their voice. Right now, we find ourselves in a crucial battle for religious freedom. The ACT government's attempt to take control of the pro-life Calvary Hospital is deeply concerning. They seek to implement easy access to abortion and euthanasia, disregarding the institution's core values, threatening religious freedom, and undermining conscientious objection. We cannot allow such an encroachment on faith-based institutions and the trampling of religious freedom. Together we can and we must oppose this. The precedent this could set is dangerous and we are actively pushing back against draconian overreach by governments on our cherished faith-based institutions across the country. There are other battles we face as well, battles where our voices are urgently needed. We must stand up and defend the human rights of babies born alive after botched abortions. And I will personally raise your collective voice at a federal parliamentary committee in June. It is our ongoing duty to ensure their protection and provide them with the care and support they rightfully deserve. We cannot remain silent while gender-confused children face the risk of radical surgeries that may cause irreparable harm. Our children need protection from the dangers of online pornography. We are actively working to combat the far-reaching and destructive impacts of the bombardment of sexual images and content, which are increasingly prevalent online and through social media. And let us not forget the importance of defending Christian schools and other institutions like Calvary Hospital, ensuring their rights and freedoms are safeguarded. Through awareness campaigns, education initiatives, robust parliamentary actions and more, we are actively engaging in the battle. ACL is here to raise your voice in the halls of parliaments across the country. We are dedicated to informing, equipping and empowering you for effective political action. We are working tirelessly to align our nation's laws with gospel truths, ensuring that they serve the most vulnerable and protect the rights of the household of faith. Lastly, I want to emphasize that ACL is unashamed of the gospel. We firmly believe it is the power of God to bring salvation to everyone who believes. It is the ultimate truth and the righteousness of God revealed. Together, we can keep the doors open for the gospel of Christ in Australia, ensuring that his truth continues to shine brightly. ACL remains steadfast in our mission, with our eyes fixed on the call to see his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. I look forward to working alongside you and seeing the positive impact that we can make together through his strength and for his glory. Thank you for your unwavering dedication, your prayers and your financial support. Together we can make a difference and be agents of positive change in our beloved nation.